When a large-scale failure occurs in an ICT system that supports social infrastructure, the impact is immense. If only early detection of failure were possible. Conventionally, detection of anomalies in ICT systems has depended on predefined rules such as thresholds based on system designs for failure or the experience of maintenance personnel. That is why unanticipated anomalies cannot be detected, leading to serious failure. Failure detection rules such as thresholds are defined from a variety of data collected from different devices. The work is time-consuming. To solve these problems, NTT Laboratories has developed a deep learning-based anomaly detection technology called Dianos, which enables early detection of potential risks in a system. DNS detects anomalies in three steps. In step one, data in different formats is collected from various devices. The collected data is converted into numerical data of a unified format, which is then used as input data in step two. In step two, a neural network called an autoencoder is used. It operates in two phases. First, it learns the normal state of input data. It then detects anomalies by way of deviations from the normal state. In the learning phase, the neural network learns in such a way that input data in the normal state is reproduced in output. The hidden layer learns the inherently important relationships in the normal state. The training phase is followed by the anomaly detection phase. If there is abnormal data in the input of the autoencoder, the input data cannot be reproduced in output. Thus, the difference between the input and output data increases. This calculated difference is called the degree of anomaly. It represents the extent of deviation from the normal state. Let's compare this anomaly detection approach with that of using thresholds. In this example, traffic flows from router A through router B to router C. Suppose that intermittent packet loss occurs between routers B and C. If a drop in traffic flow does not exceed the predefined threshold, this anomaly may not be detected. If traffic is below the threshold but normal at night, an anomaly is erroneously detected. In contrast, DNS can accurately detect unanticipated events such as intermittent packet loss from the relations between A to B traffic and B to C traffic. Conventionally, it is necessary to set rules such as thresholds for each variety of numerical data and analyze their validity. DNS can rapidly calculate the degree of anomaly, which indicates the degree of deviation from the normal state, and detects anomalies by efficiently analyzing a variety of input data. However, at this stage, it is not possible to identify which variety of data is the cause of the anomaly. Therefore, in step 3, DNS calculates the contribution of each variety of data to the degree of anomaly and determines the causes by observing how each contribution changes. We have verified DNS using the data of abnormal events that actually occurred and found that it is feasible to detect anomalies early and to determine their causes. Looking ahead, we expect that DNS can be applied not only to ICT systems, which consist of networks, servers, and routers, but also to various fields, including factory automation and IoT devices, which are increasingly being deployed.